This is Eugene Panrutkiewicz. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Lenovo ThinkPad SL510 laptop computer with a right cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on the Lenovo SL510 laptop computer. Okay, before we get started, we need to remove all sources of power and that means removing the battery from the back. There's only one lever for it. You slide the lever towards the unlock position, if you can, and then slide the battery out and the laptop. We're ready to work on the laptop now. Uh, for this model, there should not be any problems telling what the model number is because it's in the lower right hand side, SL510. Okay, before we get started, we're going to show you the tools we're going to need for this procedure. We have a PH0 electronic screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size. We have a hobby knife or an exacto knife and that's to lift up screw covers and lift up adhesive tape and also for prying sometimes. And we have a pair of metal tweezers to manipulate cables and to remove any screws that may be stuck. So the first order of business is to remove the screws that are on the front of the screen bezel and the screws are hiding behind screw covers. So we use our hobby knife to lift up the screw covers and put them on the side like so. One, two. Okay, this one doesn't want to stay so we'll put it to the side. And we keep going. Three and four. Okay, once we do that, we remove the screws. And for each step, for each set of screws, I like to keep them in a separate pile in the order in which I remove them. And that helps me keep track which screws go where when we put the laptop back together. So that's three and four. Once we do that, we snap open the screen bezel. That's the plastic cover around the screen. And in order to do that, we put our fingertips or fingernails on the side of the screen and pull up and out and listen for snapping sounds and in this way go around the screen assembly. If we get stuck at a place we keep going until we find a traction at a different place so this one you have to pull a little bit harder for this model but it can be done. So we keep going and the same thing on the bottom. Once we do that, the screen bezel is removed and we can put the screen bezel to the side. The next step is to remove the screen. And this type of screen, it's mounted on screw by screws on the side of the screen. And the question is, is whether we can reach the screws without doing anything else. And yes, we can do that. So what you want to do is pull the screen assembly, back of the screen assembly, back a little bit to reach the back screw. And we start with that one. And when you do this, make sure that the screen is tilted back a little bit. And another thing, if when you're putting the screw back in, if you, if you don't have enough room to put it in, what you may want to do is loosen these two screws that are holding the hinge assembly to the back of the screen assembly and what that will do is to make this a little bit looser so you have more space to reach back in. Okay so we keep going and we remove the second screw on the side and once again make sure the screen is tilted to 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 back because once you remove all the screws you don't want the screen folding, falling forward on you. And once again, we start a separate pile for this set of screws. And we remove the bottom screw. That's one. And 
two. Okay, once we remove all four screws, the screen is free from the screen assembly. So what you want to do is grab it and start laying down the screen. And right away we see that the webcam cable prevents us from laying down the screen. So we have to remove the webcam cable. And that's not too hard. We remove the adhesive tape for it. And then gently pull the connector out using our fingernails, like so. So it comes out. And then when you want to reconnect it, you just slide it back in. And that shouldn't be too hard. Now we can lay the screen down. Okay, once we do that, we look at the screen assembly and we see that there's one connector we have to disconnect. Before we do that, we have to loosen the adhesive for the cable. We pull the webcam cable up and also using our fingertips, pull the cable up here. It looks like there's some sticky tape stuck. So we're going to come back to this part. It'll be a little bit easier after we disconnect the connector. Next step is we're going to disconnect the connector and there's more adhesive here. And we use our hobby knife or exacto knife to lift up the corner of the adhesive tape and gently peel the adhesive tape off. And then once we do that, we can pull back the connector and disconnect it. Before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to reconnect the connector. You slide it back in. You'll feel but not hear two clicks. And let's get a close-up of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. There should not be a gap between the two sides of the connection. You can pause the video right here and make sure your connection hooks like this. So let's pull it out again. And now, now we can gently pull the video cable back to lift it up from the adhesive, very strong adhesive on the back of the screen. And we finally did it. And there's some more adhesive in this part. And we do the same thing. Okay, the main objective is not to damage the cable. Since this is a cracked screen, we don't care as much about the screen. But make sure that the cable is in one piece. So gently peel it back until it's free of the screen. Okay, once we do that, we can remove the screen. And let's take a look at the screen. This is a 15.6 inch LED screen, and let's look at the part number. The part number you can look up is B156XW02. The one thing about this screen is it has a matte finish rather than a glossy finish. Um, the screens that most people sell, including us, will have a glossy finish instead of a matte finish. Mostly it's a matter of personal preference, but if you insist on a new screen with a matte finish, you need to make sure that it's specified when you buy it. And once again, we, are, we as screen surgeons only sell glossy screens. Okay, to get a replacement screen, you can buy this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons. And what you get with us is this exact same toolkit that we use the procedure. It comes for free. Also, the screen ships for free using priority mail. So you'll have it in two or three days after you order it. And if you live outside the United States, we can ship to most countries around the world. Just go through the normal checkout procedure and select your country. Also, we have a two year warranty on our screens and free email technical support. To order this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out that will guide you to buy the right screen online. Once you do get this screen in, reconnect it like I showed you, and attach the cable to the back of the screen using the remaining adhesive on the cable. And then when you lift up the screen, when it's halfway lifted up, reconnect the webcam connector. Just slide it in like so. 
and let's try again. Slide it, slide it in, and that's it's connected right now. So I'll slide it in until it can't go any further. Okay, I'm gonna pull it out again, like so. And then mount the screens on the mounting brackets. Put the two screws in at the top and the two screws in at the bottom. And if you have trouble putting in the screw at the bottom, loosen these two screws at the bottom to give you some more space to work with. Put the screw in it and make sure you tighten it again. Once you do that, snap the screen bezel back on. Put the two screws in at the top, two at the bottom, the screw covers, and you should be done. Okay, that's it. Once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.